From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. At an average of 238,655 miles away, the moon is Earth's closest neighbor. It's no surprise that the moon has become a source of conspiracy theories. The most popular conspiracy is well known, that the 1969 NASA moon landing was somehow faked. Chances are you're already familiar with this conspiracy, but it's far from the only theory out there. In fact, some theorists do believe the moon landings occurred, but, they say, that's not the real conspiracy. Conspiracy. Here's where it gets crazy. There are numerous other theories. One of the most popular is the lunar structures theory. The belief that when astronauts landed on the moon, they encountered pre-existing structures. According to researcher Richard Hoagland, NASA has known about lunar structures for some time, and these structures have been built by aliens. Conspiracy theorists often claim NASA tries to conceal evidence of these structures by obsessively doctoring photos from satellites and spaceships. Skeptics claim these photos actually contain evidence of much less extraordinary objects, specifically artifacts and photos, which can appear when a string of satellite photos are lined up to form a contiguous image. But that's not the only conspiracy. Many of the people who believe that NASA's astronauts made it to the moon also believe these astronauts saw UFOs during their journeys. For evidence of this, they refer to the use of the term Santa Claus by astronauts, which is thought to be a code word for UFOs. So why would UFOs be located near the moon? According to researchers like Tom Arbino, it's because the moon is home to one or more secret lunar bases. Depending on who you believe, the dark side or interior of the moon may harbor a secret extraterrestrial base, a human-built base, or even the ruins of an ancient alien civilization. Theorists also claim that astronauts such as Neil Armstrong have confirmed one or more of their beliefs. Predictably, skeptics do not take these claims seriously. After all, if the moon was inhabited, then how could world governments hide the news from the public, even if they wanted to? Furthermore, if there are ancient structures on the moon, then why hide them? Theorists respond to these questions with a number of explanations, the most popular of which is accusing the world's elite of suppressing this knowledge to maintain the global status quo, and, with it, their control over the common man. At this point, the skeptics and the conspiracy theorists have argued back and forth over the alleged evidence, most of which is either based on statements of astronauts or photographs of the lunar landscape. Skeptics argue that the conspiracy theorists simply won't accept explanations that don't agree with their pre-existing beliefs. Theorists essentially accuse the skeptics of the same thing. Yet regardless of whether or not you believe something suspicious is happening up there on the moon, it's true that no one has presented any universally accepted proof that there were structures on the moon when astronauts landed. So where does this leave us? Is the moon, as mainstream science states, a gray rock devoid of life? Or is it home to something else? Something they don't want you to know.